hello guys welcome back to our channel planet for tech i hope you all are doing great and learning lots by watching all the continuous episode of our tech series and today in the episode 2 of series master in web driver io and cucumber js i am going to describe you the solution of most common issues which comes while we are using first time import keyword in our cucumber js project so let's see how we can see this issue and uh, how we can resolve it so the issue is very common it is cannot use import statement outside a module why this issue comes and how we can resolve it let's see all in one by one so let me start my vs code so this is my uh, cucumber js web driver io project setup you can see this uh, project is basically uh, i created for the testing purpose so you can see we have the web driver io.config.js so uh, in the bottom you can see there are lots of settings we have so out of these only one point we have to notice here so when you will scroll it so you will see there this is the local means the local environment and here we have mentioned these feature files just go down framework cucumber instead of that you can use other framework also but whatever framework you are using you have to uh, you have to configure it properly then only that import will work otherwise not so in this cucumber ops option here we are going to add one new module require inside the require module we have to add the new module that is the babel compiler we have to add then only that import issue will fix so first of all let me show you what is the issue uh, how it looks like I hope most of you when you have started this uh, web driver IO project so you you will definitely face this issue let's see how we can uh, resolve it let me start the terminal here in the package.json I have configured this command in a short script format let me show you what I have done so here you can see in the script section uh, for the start i have already mentioned web driver io run web driver io config.js so i don't need to run this complete command simply i have to write start so it will call this command internally so let me call it npm start now you can see we are going to have this issue let me show you uh, so guys you have to uh, make sure like you are using the uh, bash cell here bash command prompt instead of you can see we have lots of command prompt power cell git bash so you have to use the bash one because it will support all the related command otherwise in other uh, command prompt like command or power cell few of them are not working let me show you one thing here if i'm using the power cell so you might face this issue npm start so you can face this issue so instead of uh, struggling with this issue we can see uh, the same command is working with the bash terminal so we are going to use this one itself so here i am going to type npm start so you will see the original issue will come the common error which comes first time when we are setting uh, doing the first uh, setup of project that time it comes so how we can fix this error so basically there are two type of javascript files supported in a es6 format so what those are so the first one is let me show you in the package.json you can see there is the one option for type however we have to uh, ignore it because we are not going to fix this by this type instead of that we are going to install the third party library so here you can see in the package.json if we are going to provide the type so we have two kind of common js and module so if we are going with the module it means all the files all the libraries uh, should not use the require instead of that it should use only import but it is not the case because uh, uh, we are going to import few library but here what we are going to do uh, some places the internal library are using the require require command as well so we are not going to disturb this setting instead of that we should use the babel library so let me show you what library we have to install so i am going to install four modules here so that four you have to take care firstly so the first command will be npm install at the red babel cli so this one we have to install so this is the first one babel cli once it is installed we have to install next one 
you can see here it is installed now going to install another one that another one is nothing but uh, Babel after this one more command we have to install we have one more module we have to install to fix this issue so the next module is Babel register you can see we have installed these four a new module so in the package.json you can see it is showing there in the dependency you can see Babel CLI, Babel Core, Babel Preset, Environment and uh, Register so these four things we have to install it first once it is installed, so what we have to do, we have to register this module. We have to register this dependency in webdriver io.config.js file. Let me show you. So this is the web uh, wdio config.js file. So inside this, you have to look for that particular section where we have to register this third party uh, module, you can say. So here inside this Cucumber Ops, you can see in the cucumber ops we have the option of require module so we can add the extra modules or you can say third party module as per the project need so i'm going to add register babel babel slash register so guys you have to make sure be before including this uh, extra require module you have to install all those uh, babel related uh, module then after only you can use it so we have included it now we you can see is it working or not let me show you so i'm going to run this script again npm start so you can see this is running properly and this time it should not show that error because it should fix yes we are done you can see here now that issue is fixed and the new issue is coming this is not related to that but this is related to the features itself so you can see here there is no such error means it is fixed here so this way guys you can fix that error like the error was cannot use import statement outside the module so you have to install only four library i am going to mention those library here so the first library will be what so this is the step one in step one you have to install these four library first then in step two you have to dot js file inside this you have to go and you have to configure this under the require module so this way you have to configure it that's it so it is solved so i hope this is going to help you if you are working first time in the web driver io so thank you guys thank you for watching and coming with the ne next concept in the episode 3 till that time just do practice and get enough confidence in this project. Thank you.